Hello everyone and welcome to an unusual let's play. Cause I got nothing else I can do right now. Yep. That's right. We're actually doing this game. Can you believe it? Let's just put him blossom. I don't really care. Oops. Not blue. Blossom. Blue didn't even exist back then. Yeah. I know. You guys might be like, am I crazy or something? Well, yeah, I am kind of crazy. But I used to like this game when I was young. Alright. Alright, Mojo Jojo have gained the access to Professor Utonium's basement laboratory in which he creates the devices that he uses in the experiments that he performs. The door is locked so you cannot enter without the key that will open the door. You'll never get in, leaving me Mojo Jojo in peace to build the weapons which I will use to... Dang it, I messed up. Whatever. Alright. Yeah, for trading cards. Alright, so yeah. This this is actually a pretty fun game, I think. What I just picked up there, that's a thing to call um, other people. You see in the top, the top I have a red box and a um, green box. The red box means I can perform my special attack. And the, red bo and the green box means that um, I can call in Buttercup to help me. Yeah. I suggest, if you ever play this game, I suggest you slide to attack, because if you stand still, you, there's no way you're going to survive. But yeah, you punch with A, and then you can use, you see the, the um, X potions up there? Yeah, that's, that tells you how many um, ice beams you have as, blo as Blossom. You can only play as Blossom in this game. Here's what the, here's what the ice beam looks like. Yep. Uh, I used to play this as a kid, and I had fun with it. I don't care what GameSpot says about its ratings. I had fun with this game. That's why it matters to me. So. And there's the basement key. Yeah. Already done with that. And then there's, um... But, um... Bubbles. Yeah, you can call her in as well. Yeah. So there's the basement over there, but... We're not going there yet, because we, we still have more stuff to collect and more bad guys to beat up. And more people to save. And more, you know. And it's pretty, it's a good idea to just stay stocked up on everything. And there's a delay for your punches, so you don't want to do that too soon. Otherwise, you, you have to wait like five seconds. That's one thing that's bad about this game, but eh, whatever. So yeah. Got some more coins. Gotta get those coins, you know. Gotta get rich. Alright, yeah. Oh yeah, you can fly, but you only for a limited time. If it if that got stupid thing will get out of my um, thing, you see that bar? You can only fly for as long as that bar will hold out. You know, can't fly indefinitely, sadly. Yeah, and th that's the uh, that's the um that's like leads to the place where we uh, got the key, the hallway outside of that one. So yeah. All right, and then then you know just do a sliding attack. BTL. I have no idea what that bacon tomato lettuce bacon. I thought it was bacon lettuce tomato. Oh well. So yeah, just get you know. I'll admit it, when I was younger, I used to watch Powerpuff Girls all the time. But I never watched Sailor Moon. That's kind of weird. Well, whatever. And uh, these gun guys are a little bit easier, because they won't hurt, they don't hurt you when, if you walk into them. Like, but they will hurt you. Oh, yeah. Invisibility. So just kick, kick the crap out of them. And then, these flying guys are probably the most... Oh, dang it, I didn't want to use that ice beam, but... These flying guys are probably the most annoying enemies in the game. Yeah. You want to be moving away from them. At least, you know, they give you the option to move away. And like other, other games where if, if you have to stand still if you get hit. Yeah, so you want to move away as fast as you can if you get hit. Because you have to wait a while before you can go back. Come on. This guy isn't that tough. Yeah. So I'm only playing this because I can't record. Really, I can't record Pokemon Gold because I lost the save file again. I'm getting sick of losing save files. I can't record Pokemon. Um, what's my call it? 
Pokemon Mystery Dungeon because I have to go I have to go um, play that again to remind myself how it's done. And I don't know what's I think if you get all three you know sugar spice and everything nice you get an extra life. I'm not exactly sure. And then um, I can't record Mother One because I need to grind a lot. Uh. Getting bored with this music? It's a good thing as a child I always put I always put it on mute, but whatever. It's okay for like five sec for like the first minute, but whatever. So then here's a person we got a free here. I know you can't. I can't believe I'm I'm actually doing this game either, but eh, I said to myself if I if I can't record anything. I'm gonna. I'm just, I'm just gonna have to do this game. I'll try and uh, catch up, but on Pokemon Gold tomorrow. No, no, actually, no. That's not. The, that's not probably not the best idea. Um, I'm gonna. Pro I'm gonna try and grind on Mother One. There you go. That's probably probably a better idea because I need to get a get because I gotta make sure my guest star is ready by that time as well. So yeah. So yeah. Just off to go fight, stop Mojo Jojo and all hit all the cronies he's released. Get invisible walls. Uh, this isn't the best design game, I'll admit that, but I like it. You know, it has nostalgia for me because I played it as a kid. The last boss as a kid was actually pretty tough. I don't know, because I right now I'm only practicing by level because I don't I don't really feel like playing the entire game. Yeah. Just fall down the shaft. Uh, more flying enemies. Yeah, there we go. I have no idea what those are. I don't. I don't remember the show too well. Other than the Rowdy Rough Boys, that's pretty much the only show I remember clearly. Cause I'm like, oh, that's sick. As a, as a little kid. But as little as little as a boy, all boys were afraid of cooties, you know. I just find it funny that I actually watched this show by how, just because of how much I was like against girly things when I was younger. Okay, there's everything nice. All right, come on. Aha! This is a, this is a pretty easy game. It it is designed for kids, so you know. Don't expect any challenges, except maybe the last boss, but like I said, I haven't played that, so I don't remember. I just say that because the last boss has three forms, and just imagine having to do this, then run away, wait five seconds, and come back on him. It's really annoying. As you can, you know... Actually, does he have three forms? I think it's... Ah, thank God he didn't hit me. Alright. He might have, actually, I think he has five forms. The, because I think the level three boss has three forms. Yeah. And, okay. Professor Utonians. Yay. He's safe. Hurrah. Yeah. So, yeah, the last of the things you can find up here. Did I miss something? I must have missed stuff. Oh well, I don't really care. Just playing this for fun. Alright. Come on, Mojo Jojo. Now run away! Uh, let's get... Okay, now. Yeah. That's how it works. Uh, yeah, that has really far range. So then, Buttercup. Yeah, I, I really have nothing to say. First boss fight. All he has is the swipe and the punching things. So he can be a little... Uh, he, I don't know. Uh, how did he not hit me with that? Oh well, I'm not complaining. Bubbles is the funniest. But it makes sense. Yeah. Alright, run away, and then Ice Beam. Punch, Ice Beam, Punch, Ice Beam. Dang it, I missed. 
Punch. Ice Beam. Punch. He should be dead soon. Come on. Ice Beam. Punch. Or kick. There we go. Yay! We did it! Yeah, I don't care. Well, that's it for today. Hopefully I won't have to do another episode of this for a while, so... See you next time on any other show. Or any other game. Bye.